What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you think the Dodgers are all in on trying to re-sign Corey Seager? How important do you think he is to this team? I want your takes down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So don't look now, but the Dodgers are streaking. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're beating up on bad teams. Last night, they beat the Texas Rangers by a score of 12-1. to They won their four straight game. They're now one half games back in the NL West. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to dominate teams like the Pirates, like the Rangers. Last night, a season-high five home runs for the Dodgers. Rangers pitchers were out there looking like Oprah Winfrey. And you get a home run. And you get a home run. And you get a home run. If you look under your seats, there's a home Home run. Everyone's taking home a home run today. First it was Max Muncy. Then it was Justin Turner. Then it was Gavin Lux. Then it was Albert Pujols. And then finally, Will Smith hit a bomb. But, and what more can you say about LA's Theo Albert Pujols? He now has an 888 OPS as a Dodger. Five home runs. He's mashing against lefties. Hey, Angels, that's why you don't give up on a future Hall of Famer. And thanks for picking up that tab. They're paying him almost $30 million just so he can rake for the Dodgers. You love to see it but yesterday we got some good news and some not so good news when it comes to Dodgers injuries before the game Dave Roberts he provided an update on Corey Seager's status and he's now hitting tennis balls well that's great news because we would love to see Corey Seager back in this Dodgers lineup here's Dave Roberts with the latest on the 2020 World Series MVP so I I don't it would be easier Bill if I knew exactly when he was going to take swings uh, with a major league baseball versus a tennis ball with two hands. Um, I think that once he does that, it would be a couple days after that, that we'll get him in batting practice. And then we can set up some live sessions. So, you know, it's, it's just really hard for me to pin that down right now. And then Doc went on to say that he's about two weeks away from beginning his rehab assignment and that the floor will be about seven games. So, you know, my plan for success for Corey Seager, get him back, get him hot and keep him healthy. Corey Seager is going to have such a big impact on this lineup, especially once he starts playing like the player he was last year. And he's got a lot at stake because he's in his platform season. He's going to enter free agency. You know, he wants to get a big bag. My question to you guys is how committed do you think the Dodgers are to signing him long term? And do you think the remainder of the season, the postseason will have an impact on that? I think at this point, the Dodgers, they're always playing chess. They're always thinking five moves ahead. Andrew Friedman only speaks when it's time to yell checkmate, but I think the Dodgers know at this point whether or not they want to offer him a massive deal, a $250 million plus contract, and if he finishes the season strong, if he comes back and rakes and looks like the player he did in 2020, and then he goes through the postseason and has a lot of success, let's say he wins another NLCS MVP and another World Series MVP, then what does his number look like? But I think the Dodgers right now, they're standing pat. I think they're going to offer him a nice deal. Are they going to offer him a $300 million plus deal? I'm not so sure about that, especially when you've seen how well Gavin Lux has played that shortstop position. I think if you're the Dodgers, that kind of gives you a little contingency plan if Corey Seager wants to walk and sign with another team. But let me know down below in the comments. Do you think that the Dodgers are fully committed to re-signing Corey Seager? I think they are, but I also think they're going to be honest and upfront with him about maybe there should be a position change. Maybe you should move to first or move to third. I think it's inevitable that we will see the DH in the National League. So that's something to consider too. Of course, Justin Turner will benefit from that. And then Corey Seager some years down the line if he decides to sign an 8 or 10 year contract with this team. But I think if he wants to sign a big deal with the Dodgers and he comes back and has a great rest of the season, hits for power. We see Corey Slugger plays well in the postseason. I definitely think it's in the cards. And like I said, it wasn't all good news last night for the Dodgers. Max Muncy and Cody Bellinger, they both left the game early. So you hate to see that, especially for Cody Bellinger that's just getting off off the IL. He missed significant time due to that hairline fracture. And when he left the game, as he was entering the dugout, he said it was just cramps. He says cramp. But it turns out it was more than that. After the game, Dave Roberts gave us an update on Max Muncy and Cody Bellinger. They're both going to be day to day. Muncy felt something in his side. I'm really hesitant uh, to not say oblique, but that's kind of where it was at. 
So we'll see. Um, got ahead of it early, uh, in our opinion and Max's opinion. So tomorrow will be more telling. Uh, with Cody, just felt it on a take. The ball in, and he felt his hamstring kind of tug. Thought it was a cramp. Didn't feel it legging out that uh, trying to stretch a single into a double. And then when he was running down the line, didn't feel great with it. So he's kind of in that same bucket as far as we'll, we'll know more tomorrow. They have not gone for testing. So tomorrow we'll just kind of see how they feel and then we'll kind of go from there. So, yeah, guys, a little prayer circle. Let's hope that this is nothing serious. We need everyone back and everyone healthy. We need to see that Death Star fully operational. And then Max Muncy, he has an all-star game that he's going to be playing in in July. So we don't want any IL stints for him. And he's kind of on a little bit of a cold streak before he hit that ankle. You're starting to see some injuries pile up for Max Muncy. Some knick-knack injuries. First, the ankle could be an oblique now. And then Cody Bellinger. Anytime he's injured and it's a running thing, that's when you start to get concerned because he's a center fielder. He's very athletic. He uses that athleticism. Hopefully, this is nothing serious for Belly. But let me know down below in the comments. On a scale of 1 to 10, how committed do you think the Dodgers are to signing Corey Seager long-term? I want all of your takes down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet or you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, high videos, podcasts, and more, you're going to find it right here so be sure to smash that subscribe button smash that notification bell and if you want to see even more dodgers content smash that like button for all latest dodgers nation merch head over to gearup.la some of the best dodgers t-shirt designs in the game you're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la for the latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com and until next time think blue bleed blue and i'm out